Okay, hi. It's uh, Chris again, uh, here with just an update on medical school and to answer some questions that y'all have sent me uh, over YouTube, so study advice and different things like that. Um, it is Friday, November 13th. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. Okay, well, let's try something new this time. Uh, y'all have been sending me a lot of uh, text comments and uh, email messages and stuff like that, so let's try to see if um, y'all send me some video responses this time around. So it's Friday the 13th, how about send me a video response of the craziest, scariest thing you've ever seen on Friday the 13th, um, and I'll put uh, your name and maybe a little clip of it in uh, the next video so everybody else can see it too. Alright, so um, now to get on to the update for, uh, for medical school, we just finished our third test. It was Monday, we got back our grades and everything, I did really good, uh, I'm happy with the scores, I'm a... Uh, keeping my high grades in uh, biochemistry and cell biology and um, immunology and all the other kind of stuff we're doing. Um, module 3 went good. I uh, was kind of worried about that one a little bit. I didn't have time to look over it till the very end, but it turned out okay. Um, and if you're confused about what those are, check out some of my other videos and I described what those are um, a few weeks ago. Okay, so here's the, uh, the questions for this week that we had. We had uh, question number one that was um, what upper division courses for the MCAT uh, would you recommend taking? All right, uh, basically for the MCAT, the main things that you need is you just need your basics. You need your basic biology one and two in the lab, the uh, chemistry one and two in the lab that goes with it, physics one and two in the labs that you have to take with it, and organic chemistry one and two in the labs that go with it. Um, these are these are enough. You get enough information out of these, and if you study and use whatever book or study review you're uh, you're getting with that, you should have all the information that you need. If you want some upper level ones that will help you, um, genetics is a big one, right? especially if they have anything to do with genetics on the uh, MCAT. You might have had it in your high school career, but that's a long time ago <laughs> if you're taking your MCAT your junior year like everybody does. So maybe a good uh, genetics course will do that for you, just the basics of genetics. You don't need any of the molecular genetics and stuff like that. Uh, HPhys is a good one, or human physiology is a good one helps you understand all how the hormones work and how you maintain homeostasis, which is the basis of physiology. Um, you really don't need things like biochemistry or cell biology slash cell phys or molecular genetics um, or any of those kind of things. They're good overall to prepare you for medical school, and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but for the MCAT, you really don't need that. That's a little too advanced for what the MCAT wants you to do. That's kind of beyond the scope of the MCAT. Uh, for verbal, um, I would recommend... That's kind of hard to say. Verbal is just kind of like if you're good at it or not going into it to begin with. I had uh, BIT courses, Baylor Inter Interdisciplinary Core. Wow, took a lot to get that out. Anyway, uh, the Baylor Interdisciplinary Core was um, a way they brought in all the world religions kind of into one thing. And it was a lot of heavy reading and uh, like uh, different uh, philosophies and stuff like that was a lot of that. It was a lot of bull crap, but... I did it anyway, um, and it helped out a lot with the verbal stuff because I got to read all that stuff and got really quick at reading and just looking for just basic comprehension. But if you're looking for something for the MCAT for verbal, um, do exam crackers, do the little verbal things. They come in a book that has, I think, 15 or 20 in it, something like that. Just go through those and practice those and use our little small little segment on audio osmosis on a, just a strategy and just run with it. All right, that's a good uh, practice for that. Um, another good thing here, okay, that we're going to talk about is uh, question two, which is what is the main subject to know before studying medicine? I just got this one today. It's a really good question, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, answer this one for y'all. Okay, so in general, um, biology is really important. You want to have your generals in biology, general chemistry, physics, and organic chemistry to have a good foundation. But on top of that, the one that I found the most useful was upper-level biology courses. Getting past biology one and two, talking about just basic biology stuff. Getting, I don't know who, why they keep calling me, but okay. Uh, getting past those, um, go and take things like biochemistry is a huge one. Um, biochemistry is the first course that I have here at medical school. And if I hadn't had biochemistry in undergrad, I would have been way behind really quickly. It helps out a great deal. Um, cell biology and cell phys. Uh, basically, those are the same thing. It kind of that's almost like biochem two. So if you have that one in addition to biochem, then you're going to be prepared also. But you can probably do with one or the other if it's a good class that covers generally the same thing. Uh, but those are important too because I have a cell physiology slash cell biology class as one of my courses this semester. So 
I didn't actually have that one. I wish I would have taken that one, but I didn't do it. It would have helped out a whole lot. Um, human physiology is a good one. Uh, just because you learn the anatomy and all the kind of stuff that goes along with um, uh, physiology and humans uh, slash animals or animals, whatever. Um, and that is uh, just basically covering the things I said earlier. Maintaining homeostasis is the main focus of that course. Uh, genetics. Um, I took uh, molecular genetics and regular genetics, and it helped out a whole lot. Um, we have uh, part of the first year, we have a genetics course that's woven into uh, the uh, course one biochemistry. So that helped out a whole lot. Um, histology is a big one. If you can take that, man, you're good to go. That's that's good. You'll have no problems with histology in medical school if you take an undergrad and actually pay attention and learn the stuff. Um, and that's just microanatomy, basically. That's what that, that is. That's looking under a microscope of tissue and being able to tell what's going on. Uh, immunology is uh, say the immune system. I didn't have that one. I wish I would have. That would have helped out a whole lot. But it's not too bad if you're... Uh, if you actually crack down and study it. But if you can take it in undergrad, go ahead and do it. Those are the basic ones. Any upper level things like that um, are good for uh, preparing you for medical school. Um, if you check out in the uh, sidebar um, on, uh, on next to this video or under the video on my webpage, uh, I'm going to list a, uh, a list of the courses that I took in undergrad and why they helped uh, and maybe why they didn't for medical school. So y'all can check that out, give you an idea of what to shoot for. Um, and, and I'm going to list on the bottom some that I wish I had taken that I didn't, then I would advise you to take if you haven't. Um, again, I know people are interviewing, so good luck with that. Um, another kind of not serious question, but, uh, entertaining question was, uh, one that I got from one of the viewers kind of making fun of me because I haven't, uh, no one's seen me. I haven't been wearing a lab coat and, you know, I don't have a, I don't have a white coat. I don't wear that, you know, so, um, kind of making fun of me about that. Picking, of course, I understand that, but. Here it is, if you want to see for sure that I'm definitely in medical school. Um, a white coat, yes. And, well, of course it's on the last side that I look at. There it is, see? Okay, so just to show y'all, for sure, I am in medical school. I'm not just getting up here and doing that, whatever. That was funny. I, I enjoyed the back and forth on those comments um, or on those emails. Okay. So, um, encourage video responses. I already did that. You know, I'd like to see y'all sending me videos and stuff like that back. So, uh, I can get to get to know y'all better. Y'all are getting to know me, I guess, pretty well with all the stuff going through medical school. Um, and like I said, the, uh, the best ones, the best questions, um, anything like that will be, uh, kind of, uh, starred in the next video. Kind of like, you know, show them what their response is, uh, and get them a little bit of FaceTime in the video. So, uh, as I say, thank you for video responses, and just so I can, you know, have other video responses to look at. So, I uh, encourage y'all to do those. So, and then now, we're going to go ahead and do um, the, uh, well, I'm going to try something new in addition to the joke of the day. We're going to try to do random medical fact of the day. So, let's go ahead and do the uh, joke of the day, is, what did the comedian say to the surgeon? He had me in stitches, doc. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the random medical fact of the day is um, in the Western Hemisphere and Western cultures, we eat a lot of omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids are linked to prostaglandin uh, creation, which is uh, linked to infl inflammation. So we have a lot of inflammatory diseases here in the uh, Western world because of our high diet in omega-6 fatty acids. Other places have a uh, higher diet in omega-3 fatty acids, and they don't have near as much inflammation or problems with that as we do. So, random medical fact of the day is, if you're having trouble with anything with inflammation, go out and eat some, stop eating so much omega-6 fatty acids and get some omega-3s so you might feel better. Uh, again, but all that, that's just something we learned in class. I thought I'd pass along. All right, so that, that's all for me. That's uh, almost my 10 minutes is up. Uh, thank you all for watching again. Uh, I've been getting a lot of subscribers and uh, messages recently, so keep them coming. Uh, I'll give you all an update later on when uh, different things happen. Should be sometime early next week. Um, all right, y'all have a good weekend and um, watch out for Friday the 13th. No, just kidding. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, later, y'all have a good one.